It's Anna at Mamsie's Garden. You can call me Mams just like my friends. Today is foiled peanuts. We're gonna can them up. One of my really good friends went to a place of business somewhere. I don't even know. She didn't say and I didn't ask. Um, and got peanuts in big bags. Uh, I think it's 30 pounds and was maybe like $35. So I said, yeah, get me a bag. And so she did and she brought them and now uh, I'm going to show you what I do to get ready to can them. I had these two large wash tubs and I just put the peanuts in there. They kind of divide them out, not real even as you can see. And they're kind of green peanuts, that's important. Greenish peanuts, okay? And I filled the container with water and I'm letting them soak filthy. So you let it soak for an hour, hour and a half, two hours, whatever you want to do, and drain it off, and then do it again, and let it soak for another hour. And you can do that three or four times till you feel like they're clean enough. So this is kind of an all-day project, just letting you know. But you're going to Get them super clean because peanuts are full of dirt and grit and, you know, that's not going to taste good in between your teeth, right? <laughs> Poor boy really likes boiled peanuts, so I thought that was going to be great to put up for him for the winter. And then I saved a few just to put on a tray to roast for myself because I've never been a big boiled peanut fan. Taste buds may change. I don't know. I hadn't tried them in years and years and years. So, but there will also be good little Christmas happies to do with the extended family. So there's your an idea now that it's peanut season. Okay, so this has been through three times of different soaps and you can see that the water is now clear. So the next thing we're gonna do, and we're doing it cold, is we're gonna pack cold peanuts into cold jars with cold rims and lids and putting it into cold water canner, pressure canner. Okay, you wanna have your supplies ready. You wanna have clean jars, some salt. I use pink Himalayan salt, you can use kosher salt or pickling salt, whichever you prefer, and your debubbler and your grabs. Cold water in your stock pot. Some people like to boil salt water or bring it to a slight boil or boil the peanuts prior not me i don't want mushy peanuts so i'm gonna put my salt in my jars and then pack my jars to one inch headspace and then i'm gonna fill with filtered water i'm using about a teaspoon maybe three-fourths of a teaspoon for the pint jars. And then a full teaspoon for quarts. And I've got um, a pint and a half jar and I'm just gonna use a, a very leveled teaspoon for it. You just kinda adjust it to your taste. Next step, loading your jars with your peanuts. And you want to mash those down a little bit. They're not going to be completely flush down in there. It's not like you're packing raw meat or anything like that. So just get what you can in there. And then you're going to use your filtered water or distilled water to one inch head space. And debubble the best you can. It's not gonna be easy to get it down in there. You just have to keep working it. Now you see I've got one peanut that's a little bit above the water, so I'm gonna take that one out and move it to the next jar because you wanna keep your water just a, 
above your peanuts and you want to keep it at your one inch head space. Check your head space, make sure you've got that one inch in each of your jars. Then you're gonna wipe with a vinegar cloth or a rag, whichever you prefer. I always like a paper towel with vinegar. This is a how I do it video, not a how to do it video. This is just how I do it. You need to check your recommendations. You need to check your ball book or other trusted sources or go online to the National Food Administration and get their recommendations because you may not find what you're looking for in one of these other books. So do your research and do what's best for you and your family. This is just how Menzi does it, not a how-to. Now we're applying our lids and our rings. Make sure none of those are dented. Make sure your rims on your glass around here has no chips. Close them up finger tight and place them in the canner. And you'll see they start to float. That's okay. Continue on until your canner is full. Apply your lid. Lock in place and turn on your temperature to bring it up to pressure. Continue packing more jars if you want. Okay, we're up to pressure and the National Center for Home Preservation says set your timer for 45 minutes. So there we go. Got this load going. Got the next load ready to go. Y'all, yeah. So I was jarring up some more to get ready for after that first canner load gets done. I'm gonna be canning peanuts all day, you guys lot. I'm just barely through one bucket. <laughs> I had to. Okay, so I was just thinking, I had a brainstorm because I've got so many plain salted boil peanuts. I thought about something. I was like, now how would I do Cajun peanuts? And it dawned on me, look what I have. Ooh wee! Lippy swamp mix. I'll put the description, or the way to, to get it on our Etsy store in the description. Swamp mix. And to get that true Cajun flavor, whoop, it's all backwards. It's all backwards. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Some crab boil and some swamp mix. Mm-hmm. I think we'll do a teaspoon of lippies and a quarter teaspoon of crab boil may actually i think this is the packs and not the drops yep this is in the bag so we'll have to put it in a pot to boil it for just a couple minutes just to get that flavor and i got about hmm, probably 15 pounds of peanuts so i'll just put those in a big pot and do it just like we would shrimp get that flavor yank that out of there then jar them up and go that route so for those of you that like cajun peanuts you need to get you some Olympic Swamp Mix and a little bit of crab boil. Add extra salt. Okay, just gonna insert this real quick. I did put um, about 10 pounds of peanuts in a pot and covered it with some clean filtered water. And I've added my little bag of Zatarans and I'm gonna push that down in there. I'll be stirring it in some. I'm gonna let this come to a quick boil and then just base it on taste. I don't want it too, too, too spicy hot, but I want it to have a good flavor. And then when I get ready to fill the jars for the Cajun ones, I'll add Liffy's uh, Swamp Mix and some extra pink Himalayan salt. Just like if I was doing the regular salted jars, you know, I'd, I added a teaspoon, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of pink salt, a teaspoon of Swamp Mix, and the Cajun uh, 
peanut and I will ladle the juice from in here into the peanut jar instead of adding more fresh filtered water. So I'm gonna use that. So you can see that's still steaming. I um, let it come to a rolling boil for about five minutes with that seasoning pack in there and then I pulled that out and I'm gonna get my jars hot and my rings and lids hot and then I'll can those up hot because my pressure cooker is coming down from pressure from this so it's still gonna be hot. I can add my little bit of water to make it to my fill line that it's supposed to be and then add these hot, hot jars and then later this afternoon when things all cool back off then I can process these jars going from a cool temp. So got my swamp mix, got my sea salt, got to get my jars hot. Okay, so this first batch is done. I've let them sit here for just a minute and I'm gonna show you what this looks like coming out. There's your boiled peanuts. These are those plain salted ones. And I'm going to set these out on the counter and let them rest overnight or for at least 12 hours. And uh, I'm going to be jarring up these Cajun ones. Okay, y'all, ignore my messes. I got things everywhere. We're going to add our teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. And we're going and we're going to add a teaspoon of Miss Slippy's and I'm gonna make a little heaping okay and I'm gonna do that in each jar and then I'm gonna use it put my these jars are hot now um, I'm gonna put my boiled Cajun peanuts they were only boiled for just a few minutes okay because like I said I don't want mine to get mushy so I'm gonna fill these jars each with my seasoning and then with the peanuts to one inch headspace see two for one And it's the same principle as I did with the others. You're gonna fill it up to about one inch headspace. Take your debubbler, mash it down some, and then take your ladle and get that hot Cajun liquid and fill your jar. And that smells good. I might like Cajun peanuts, I don't know. It does smell good. And I did taste the liquid earlier to make sure it had enough kick. It was pretty good, pretty spicy. I know some people probably like it really, really, really hot, but I'm not trying to do all that. Just wanted it to have a good kick. Okay, so that's in there. And I'm going to debubble that some more. Make sure I've got my one inch head space, which I do. So just to show you again, this is all hot, very hot. And then I've got my lids and rings over here hot too. They're not boiling hot. I can actually stick my finger in there, but I've got one of those magnetized things. I'm a pretty tough old bird. I say that. <laughs> pretty tough old bird. So that's what you got for your Cajun one. And then you put that in your canner and process 45 minutes as well. All right, now the Cajun ones are in the canner. I'm gonna put that lid on and get them going too. So I'm gonna finish out my day canning boiled peanuts. Y'all have a great one. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button. I hope you learned something.